He causes his sun to rise on the evil and the good. He sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. Even while knowing all things, God's goodness leads him to act most of times as if he were a blind giver, not focusing on the nature of the recipients or even the outcome. He gives out of love. He even demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. In contrast, we are inclined to give exclusively to what we see and whose outcome we can control. As a result, some have withdrawn participation in tithe and regular offerings when they cannot see the direct effect of their contributions. Others have resolved to support only local projects rather than a worldwide mission far from their eyes. This is not the blind giver attitude. We have a glimpse of what can happen when God's people reproduce the blind giver attitude. Have you heard about the hope of the Amazon, a floating church? Most of us do not know it, and even fewer have visited this boat church. However, this project has materialized through the blind giving mindset. In 2016, God's children from all over the world pulled funds together to support the 13th Sabbath projects. And one implemented project was the floating church, the hope of the Amazon in Brazil. The result is inspiring. In the first 12 months of operation of the boat church, 286 people were baptized and three churches were planted in 2017. Pastor Reno, who served on the Hope of the Amazon, said, the boat church is God's way of saving people who have been forgotten by political, economic, and health systems. God, our example, is involved in a global mission toward those we see and cannot see, toward those we know and do not know, as we worship with our tithe and regular offerings, called Promise, we have another opportunity to demonstrate the same global mindset as our God. May we put our desires last and God first.